Bang, these knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is out walking Douglas. And today, we are going to do the good and bad review on the Ontario Shekra, an OS 8. I did sharpen this knife. And um, we'll go over that in just one second. Let's very quickly go over some st stats. So this blade length is 3 and an eighth. So it's just over 3 inches. The overall length is 7 and a half inches total. Let's do a couple really quick size comparisons. So you see the Kershaw bare knuckle is a little bit bigger than it. And the pair of three lightweight is a little smaller than it. Also, the CV Elementum is a little smaller than it. Now a knife that goes really good to it and is very comparable to it is the Benchmade Bug Out. They are practically the exact same, if not the exact same. So there you go. Now, I want to thank Russ for sending this knife to us. We really appreciate him leaving comments, watching all our videos, and just all the support he's given us. And then, you know, sending us a knife to to review. It really means a lot to us. And I'm going to link his Instagram below. Please go down there. Hit the link. It'll take you right over to his Instagram very easily, and you can follow him. Great guy. Great guy in the community, and he definitely deserves your follow. Thank you. Like I said, I did sharpen this, and it did take a very, very sharp edge. And when I first opened it up, I thought the plunge, or the sharpening tool was a little bit better than it is. It wasn't as good as I thought because... When you sharpen it, it does wind up going into the plunge grind. I might have been able to avoid it if I was very, very, very careful, which I was. So it's, you know, it's kind of just one of those things when you have the plunge grind too close to the toil, it's like so impossible to hit it because you're wanting to get all the way back to here, right? And your stone is got to go over it so like when you're sharpening your stone is going to go up higher so it's just it's one of those things you know yes it's a 45 dollar knife but even a 45 dollar knife even a 20 dollar knife deserves a respectable edge well and i'm not going to say this isn't a respectable edge this is a very very sharp edge so and i also i really like the way this thing looks i love the micarta I love the the working finish, the acid etched stone wash finish. I do really like that. I like the detent. Detent is absolutely, I mean, just like, it's perfect. Love the access to the lock bar, nice and easy. I love that it's past the detent when it hits your finger. So it's very fidgety, very easy to, uh, to manipulate. The clip works very well. Um, you do have, you know, this thing right there, but it doesn't seem like it really hits it. And even though the screws are not flat, it doesn't seem like it's an issue at all. You can switch the clip from tip up to tip down. I don't think that that's a big deal. Um, the hardware, it's got the, uh, up the perfect amount of hardware. Now, you see the stop pin, nice big stop pin. I always like a nice big stop pin. The jimping works great. You can use this little spot right there to put your finger if you really want to, but it's not for a full finger. It's just for the nub, you know, if you want to put your finger there. The ergos are fantastic. I love how thin this blade is. It does have decent blade geometry. It's not, it's not bad, especially for a $45 knife. Um, sometimes that could be the most, ex I'm not going to say the most expensive thing, but it can get expensive for some companies to, you know, grinding the blades with all the belts they go through. So it's nice seeing a well-ground knife. I'm not going to say it's ground to a micro thin edge or anything, but they started off with a nice thin blade stock, so they didn't have to do a lot. Took a really good edge. Aus 8, it's a budget steel. But, you know, for $45, I think what they were trying to bring you, excuse me, I think for $45, what they were trying to bring you was premium materials with a budget steel. Because some people don't care about having 
S35 or M390 or S90V. They don't care about the steel. They don't use their knife enough for the edge retention to matter that much. But they still want premium materials. They still want the feeling of a nice, strong titanium frame lock. They still want nice micarta that's going to break in from the oils from their hand over time, which this one absolutely will. It's a very nice micarta. It's not... Um, it's not the best Micarta, but it's it's still, you know, you, you're getting Micarta for the $45 price range. You know, you're getting a strongly built knife for the most part. Um, I mean, it's not supposed to be a hard-use knife or anything. And it's on bearings. I mean, you're getting a lot of premium materials with an over-travel stop. I forgot to say that. Or lock bar insert with an over-travel stop and... You know, it's got the, the steel insert in there, as you can see. So, very, very cool. Um, now, the things that I dislike about it. One thing, man, that action is very, very snappy. And it has stayed nice and centered. That's another thing. I, I really like seeing that. Now, I don't know if all of them will do that, but this one definitely did. T8 pivot. T6 hardware, um, so I, I would rather see T8 hardware, but it's a $45 knife. I can't complain too much that they saved a little bit on the screws, but it's always nice to see all the same hardware. Now, another thing that I dislike, I dislike that they, they I feel like they could have given just a little bit, a little bit better sharpening toil. They could have just raised this up just like to here. If they would have raised it to right, like, look, look at my nail, right there. It wouldn't have that smile, at least not as bad. Um, Another bad thing is, is I don't like that they put China here. I think that they could have just stuck with the Ontario Knife Company, the 1889 you know, but they didn't need to put China there. I would have done away with all of this. <laughs> and, you know, maybe just the Ontario. If that. I think this was plenty. I think that they went a little crazy with the, you know, the stuff. But at least they kept it off of the grind. I mean, that's a great thing to see. But it is what it is. And, yeah. Could it have done better with a little bit better steel? Yeah, but then the price would have went up a little bit. So I, I'm not going to knock this thing for being OS 8. I understand what they were trying to do there. So to me, that's not a bad thing. That might, you know, that's that's a good thing. Now, could they have done D2? Yeah, they could have. That probably would have been a little bit better. Uh, not even a little bit. It would have been a lot better. But I still think, though, then the price would have went up just a little bit, probably to uh, in the 50s range. Now, I don't know if they're going to come out with another version or not. That's a little bit more money, but there you go. Um, another thing I do not like is I feel like, let me show you this. I'm not sure because as of right now, you see the, the, the lock bar where it's locking up. Nice and early. I like seeing that. But I wonder if this is going to be a lock bar that moves over very fast. Now, I don't think... Let's see if we can zoom in here. I like to look at... Let me point it out. This taper right here. the ta right Where the tip is. I like looking at the taper right there to see... How flat it is, how much of an angle it is, if it's flat and then go at it, does it go at an angle? Um, because I want to see how long it's going to take for the lock bar to move over. Now, you see where it hits, right? And then it hits the ramp. So, I feel like the only thing stopping it from going over further right now is the fact that it's about to hit the ramp. It hasn't hit the ramp yet, but it's about to. And I almost wonder if it might in the future, not saying it has, if it's going to wind up getting lock rock or if it's, 
if the, the lock bar is going to travel over very quickly. I don't know if it's going to. I'm not saying it's going to, but I, I, I want to see because I do know that the other Ontario, let's look at the Ontario Rat, is well known for the lock bars moving over. Now, they normally settle in right about right there. This one has been through a couple people's hands, but you see this one, it's almost to 100% lockup. Now, these knives are very strong, very durable. I am not knocking this knife at all. I'm just curious about this because I know the Ontario rats are known for their lock bars moving over a little bit, you know. So, I don't know how their frame locks will be. But that is one of my worries. Um, but when I look at the tang of the blade, it seems as if it's not going to be a problem. But, you know, I just wonder. Um, and the don't, I don't want to make it seem like I am holding another knife accountable for this one. I, I'm not trying to do that. I'm just, it's just a curiosity, you know, since they are known for doing that. Also, I just want to say that the, the grind was slightly off from one side to the other, but it's not that big of a deal because this is a user knife. If you look at this angle, let me look at this one, you see right there. Now that's the same angle and everything. I, I, it might come out in um, one more sharpening. Sometimes that is uh, the case. This was the first edge that was put on it. But, you know, this is a user, so this is a knife. You use, you sharpen, you use, you sharpen. It's not something you keep as a safe queen or something you, you know, hold and it's going to create more value over the years or anything like that. This is 100% a user knife, so it's not that big of a deal. And like I said, it might be something that comes out in another sharpening, but not that big of a deal. It is what it is. Um, other than that, I do really like this knife. I think the Ergos are fantastic. I think the clip works good. I think the price is amazing. They're giving you premium materials with a budget steel that they, they're hitting another market, a market of people that want premium materials and don't care about the steel. So I, I do, all in all, really like this knife, and I think they did a good job. Peace.